see how the Armenians holiday. So we found a really cool result. Your ads, no beer. Health and nutrition. Again, we're doing well. Get in. Go on, paddle, paddle, paddle. Oh my god. It's 17 degrees. No, please. Good morning, guys, from Yerevan, Armenia. After about six days exploring a lot of what the capital city has to offer and eating, oh my god, so much of the traditional Armenian food. If you haven't seen our last video, 11 different dishes on our food tour. I am stuffed and it's making squatting down like this very difficult. I'm not, as, uh, I'm not as young as I used to be, but being that Armenia is a landlocked country, there isn't obviously beaches for the Armenians to go on holiday. So they have a few options. You can head to the mountains or you can head to Lake Sevan, somewhere that we'll be heading very, very soon because that is basically, basically their beach is, uh, is a lake. But they also have a lot of resorts just outside of the city center. So we thought we got to try one of these. We've got to give one of these a go, see how the Armenians holiday. So we found a really cool resort about seven, eight kilometers outside of this. Is it about seven, eight kilometers? Not far, yeah. Not too far outside the city center, which is pretty unique. You don't normally get a resort with pools. I've seen palm trees at this one that we've found the lot. So I'm excited to be an Armenian and do an Armenian Yerevan, sort of Yerevan holiday. Good morning, guys. So the resort that we found is actually um, a bit unusual. I would totally would not have expected to find that in the city of Yerevan. It kind of looks like you've headed to the countryside or outside of any sort of civilization, if you like, when in reality, as Matt said, we're only seven kilometers from the city center. In Yerevan, you can actually use the Yandex taxi app. I think that's the same app oh that God, we used worst. in Moldova, the right? Worst out, here, out here, it has not been the best. I mean, I'd recommend it because obviously you need a taxi app when you travel around places. But yeah, sometimes the pick up and drop off location is not the best. So let's hope that we get there today. Hi. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. This is different, only seven kilometers out. We've got greenery, we've got chickens. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know what to expect. This is so different. <laughs> There's chickens, lots of them. Lots. And a big old rooster. Look how big that is. How have they got chickens? So it feels like to me that we have come maybe a couple of hours outside, like I said this morning, that I feel like we're going outside of civilization. Yet you're in this sort of bubble bubble like that's literally only a few kilometers away we were so distracted with the chickens that they've taken our bags to our cottage we're staying in a cottage here like you wouldn't expect the cottage to be in a city look at this it's like in the countryside we're out in the countryside we've got to find cottage number nine is this it this is it, it oh this is so cool look at Beautiful. this very What's the word when Natural. you're sort of engrossed in, and I think, are these like blueberries or? I wouldn't eat them. No, I wouldn't eat them either, but they're like grapes or something. Are you ready to see the room? Let's do it. You're going straight in with a room tour? Maybe, if I can get the door open. Oh, wow. Is it us? Well, we got in, it's gotta be. Our bags are here. Look oh, this is that. huge. So, this is our cottage. Like, as Matt said, I can't believe we have a cottage in the city. Um, my God. You're throwing me the room top. Throw the room top. Huge sofa. Huge sofa, L-shaped like that. Table and chairs, you know I need a desk for my editing. We have our TV over there and loads of storage space. We've got a kitchen. Oh God, we even have a mini kitchen, look at that. So you can, you have a hob and you can do some small cooking in there. And then, oh my God, it's bedroom. massive. We have our bedroom. This is nice. Big double bed. And then, this is I hope the bathroom's bathroom. this way. Oh wow, yes. We have our bathroom and there's just a big hallway. I do like our little cottage. Feels like our very own little home. I like our little outdoor seating area with the vine trees, but it's a huge resort. It's a resort. It is a resort within a city, sort of in a city. I don't even know if this is classed as Yerevan. Um, 
I'm gonna call it our own little cross resort city. Um, we're gonna walk around, explore some of the grounds. I think there's an outdoor pool. It's like 17 degrees. I mean, I think we could possibly, possibly get in it. What do you think? think? I'm not so sure. I mean, we're from England, but it doesn't mean that we're gonna swim outdoors in 17 degrees. We, we could Ooh. do, we even have like our very own street lamps. Look at that. And ca oh, hello. Oh my God, there's like three kids at four. Hi. Hello. Look. Hello. <laughs> They're not too happy. <laughs> have followed us to the pool. Look at this. We have Very tropical. Rock light. Look at these little plastic palm trees. I'm love loving it. this. It feels like a, a beach, a beach club, doesn't it? A beach it? bar, you know, beach you've club. Got all the like straw cabanas, all the chairs. I think we're probably the only ones that want to sit out in it today. Right. Because every Armenian will be inside in like, the indoor pool. Cold. Every Brit that thinks 17 degrees is sunshine we'll in summer. Sunbathing. Look at it though. I did not expect to find this in Yerevan. Look, I've got palm trees, I've got pool, I've got cabanas, I've got a bar, which I need to go to. If we're on holiday, right, I need to go to the bar. There's the restaurant there. And they've also got the indoor bits. I think we're gonna try, fingers crossed, potentially to have a swim in this. It's 17 degrees, they said. The Armenians get in it at evening. In an evening, obviously, when they've had one too many vodkas, one too many Ararat brandies, they jump in here. But let's try and do it without that. Let's have a beer first, maybe get some food, then potentially have a swim. They've even got egg shares. Ganad's no beer. Healthy Ganad. option. Again, we're doing well. Why are we being so healthy? It's actually only because uh, the taps are off, because it's the end of the season, oh, but yeah. that's fair we enough. We missed out on beer, but yeah. we, can, we can use it as an excuse. Very healthy, but then we've contradicted ourselves. Iced tea. And then we've contradicted ourselves because we've got a huge pizza with fresh mozzarella, which actually looks really, really good. I'm actually pleased we didn't get a beer. Oh yeah? But a uh, crazy English girl <laughs> thinks it's a great idea to uh, to get in. in. I'm not getting in. Go on, paddle, please. paddle, paddle. Oh my God. It's 17 degrees. No, please. Oh, Is it cold? Oh yes. Way too cold. Nope, I refuse. You're, oh my god. You're lucky that no one's around here. They'd be like, why are you wearing a bikini? Yeah. Well, in everyone's in their coats the and that. <laughs> We're going to use the indoor pool instead, I think. I really wish Molly were in that pole. It would have been so entertaining. But I think you just, I feel like you just got in that bikini just so you could get like a photo by the pool. I did. Oh, look at me. Um, but we have found out, I'm not very good at cutting an apple with a knife. That's one thing I found out. But also that the, um, the property here was actually built originally, not the hotel bit here, but the building where we're gonna head to for the outdoor port and gym was built in, 1988 by like the Red Cross um, and by like something to do with the Soviet Union, I think, both combined. Um, there's actually a really devastating earthquake in 88 that mainly hit Gaimri um, and a lot of people died, um, unfortunately, and some obviously were badly injured. And those that were badly injured, the building here was actually built to help rehabilitate them. And part of it is still used for rehabilitation as well as a gym, sauna, pool, etc. So it's got quite a, I suppose, positive story because they built it to help rehabilitate. It's kind of strange staying in like a rehabilitation, old hospital. So this would have been the old Soviet rehabilitation hospital. And they've got the sports complex. I don't know if I find that creepy or not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. But yeah, it's all the way down though. here is where we are going to have to do a workout. It's like new meets old, isn't it? You've got the beautiful resort, you've got the rehabilitation place, and then hopefully uh, the gym and pool's not too... Actually, no, I don't mind. Let's have a bit of Sovietness. Yeah, bit of Soviet gym. I didn't expect this in here for the old... Soviet. Soviet. <laughs> It's not. It's not a hospital. It's a rehabilitation place, and still is. But this is sort of. It's basically like a leisure centre, cross 
facilities for us, right? I think. Hurry up and get the ball in the net. Huge basketball. I can't play basketball. We're English. We're not American. <laughs> we cannot play basketball. <laughs> oh. You can definitely see why the people of Yerevan, Armenia, the locals, would come here for like a little holiday. What is I'm out of breath from basketball, that's pathetic, but you can use the gym, use the pool, play basketball, you've got the lot. Honestly, doing a little bit of exercise every day has really made us feel so much better. So I can't believe this gym though. Like actually this complex is for the public too. So it's really, really busy. God, I'm out of breath, I've only done one exercise. One exercise and I'm out of breath. This is, this is not good. We're actually in pieces. We did it for like three, four days, and I am struggling. But I feel so much better exercising again. Every time we go away, we start exercising and then just fall. We off. never finish it. The eating falls off completely. I think it's because you're always traveling in a different hotel. But so cool, state-of-the-art gym, sports hall. You got that table tennis, and obviously all the money that's earned both by like the leisure centre and the hotel. We're told goes towards the rehabilitation centre of the people that were injured during the earthquake and still need treatment because the money stopped being funded by like the Red Cross or whatever back then the Soviet Union. So now the hotel and like the leisure centre help the people. So it's nice to be here and sort of help out a bit by working out. We didn't go to the pool in the end, this yellow room. Very sorry, yeah, my ad was, uh, was way too inviting. Um, why am I out of breath from playing table tennis? They have three table they they've got too much in it. It's basically a leisure centre. I don't know if you call it a leisure centre in Armenia. Oh my god. Oh my god. We were uh... One, two, three, four, five, <laughs> six, seven, eight. We have nine kittens with us right now. Oh my goodness. Hi. Hello. This one's up here. Hello. Oh my god. Right, try and go in the room without them getting in. This is gonna be hard. Go, 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 go. Oh no, I love the door. Quick, 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 quick. Oh no. One, two, three, I'm four, five, now. six, seven. There's nine. I'm anxious now, hang on. Okay, open and run, please. Go. No, let's go. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh my god. From cats. We are literally surrounded under attack. Surrounded by cats. Come on, let's open the door. Don't let them in. Let's just go and stay alone. Go on. Out you oh go. my god. Careful. No, no, Matt. One's trying to come in. Oh my god. Two just tried to come in. I've turned the light off. Oh no, I've got the. I've got come the. Come on, it's not going to do anything. No, just go and see them. <laughs> oh my god, can you hear them? Oh, hello, and you, all 11 of you. That's got to be the funniest thing that you have seen. And to be honest, the funniest thing I have seen, 11 cats surrounding us on our balcony and they're actually still out there now. Um, I'll go out and sit with them in a minute, it's so cute. But the restaurant here is actually closed. It closes early because obviously it's out of season. We're the only crazy people that have decided to come for an Armenian holiday when it's not quite as hot as we expected. So we have got a delivery on the way. Um, I don't have high hopes because I did order from Menu AM, um, which is like the Armenian delivery. I ordered from them possibly around a couple of days ago and they after an hour they were like sorry we're overloaded can't take your order so yeah not sure if i have exactly high hopes for for this order but we don't really have a choice if we don't get this then we won't be in tonight dinner is served we have got what have we got i'm forgetting what we've got the diga station Degustation? Degustation. Degustation. Like we uh we cheated tonight, we got. Oh that smells really good. We got two oh, cases wow. of deals. That's yeah. well, quite small. Yeah, but they're only little, aren't they? They look it looks pretty good. Two, two cases of deals. Did you say we missed the uh Yeah. How do we miss the last last serving of dinner? And water. We literally, we literally been stranded. This was slightly more expensive than probably going to a nice Armenian restaurant, but, oh my God, my sour cream's gonna go everywhere. 
that's what you have to do when, when you, miss, you miss, miss the boat. The boat. Yes, yeah, so we've got a tomato salsa and a sour cream and a famous chilli. Where was it? Was it Romania that I had that chilli? Well, it was really hot. Yeah. Uh, might have been. Uh, you get it on your oh, 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 oh my god. Oh. Dip from sour cream. <gasps> that is so unbelievably hot. Oh my god. I'm not far off drinking this sour cream. Is it a good case of dear? Tell me quick. It's not bad. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, it's better than the chili. Good morning, guys, from our cottage here in the outskirts of Yerevan. Look, we're feeding our little friends. We are obsessed. We actually wanted to bring them in last <laughs> night. <laughs> last night, we're feeding them a little bit of hello, a little bit of left. There's only over. four though. Only four today. Apparently there's 18 in total. But um, this vlog's been a bit of a raw vlog, I would say. A bit of like behind the scenes, a day in the life when traveling. But we, when we saw this place, we really wanted to try it out. It showed how that is basically a summer holiday resort in a city, which made no sense to us. But being that it's landlocked, it makes a lot of sense. The pool area and the bar, beautiful. It's like being at a beach club, literally like being at the beach. And then it's got the leisure center that really is what well, we call it a leisure center. It's like a sports center with like literally the best facilities. As you can see, I'm back in my gym clothes. The healthy routine is hopefully continuing for the foreseeable future. So I'm gonna head over there in a bit. And I love what they're doing. A lot of the money that they generate here at the hotel and the sports center, they put back into the rehabilitation of the people that were injured during the dreadful earthquake here in Armenia. But yeah, like I said, a little bit of a day in the life, a little bit of a raw vlog. Um, we'll be back to exploring very, very soon because we have a lot more left to see in Armenia. I'm gonna head to the gym, Molly's gonna feed the cats and we'll see you in the next one.